you know, Central, um, the underdog here to say the least, eight and 24 coming into tonight's game, but you know, you never know. They play the game for a reason, and we'll see what transpires here tonight as the uh, Sabres take on the Bettendorf Bulldogs, undefeated champions of the Mississippi Athletic Conference at 39-0. And yeah, just, just looking at the uh, stats earlier today on the uh, Quick Stats Iowa, and uh, they are something to behold. Uh, we'll just, you know, not go over everything here but just some of the uh, highlights there um, you know three girls in the starting lineup Sarah Kennedy uh, Kelsey Rose Kayla Annell all above 500 batting Kelsey Rose uh, leading the way with a uh, average of 566 Kayla Annell 516 and Sarah Kennedy with 506 63 home or uh, 63 RBIs uh, for Morgan Lenz um, and 14 home runs. Uh, those are both tops for the Bulldogs. Second place, uh, Kaylin DeCook, uh, the uh, junior catcher, uh, and uh, uh, you know all stats to behold. Uh, four girls, five girls above uh, 40 RBIs for the season. You know. Need I say more? Bettendorf is number one for the reason in uh, Iowa Class 4A, 39-0. No surprise, their best season ever. Um, you know, Central DeWitt, you know, they uh, only have a couple girls above uh, uh, 300 batting. Um, but as I said, you know, they played the game for a reason. Uh, Mackenzie Schultz, the uh, freshman, is the uh, batting leader with uh, 364 average. Uh, home runs, uh, only four home runs, and uh, those are by Mackenzie Schultz. Uh, right behind is uh, Nikki Green, a senior, one of the seniors on this year's team, with three. She bats 341. So, uh, and then uh, Corey Katsarelik, sophomore with a 333 average. Central DeWitt, 8 and 24. That's an 8 and 24 record. So, we'll see what happens here uh, tonight in DeWitt, Iowa. Is stars for both sides being introduced. Looks like uh, Katie Irwin's going to get the starting call on the mound for the Sabres. We'll go over her stats here as the Sabres take. The infield. Morgan Lentz will be the uh, starter for uh, Bettendorf tonight. And we'll talk about her when the Bulldogs play defense and the Sabres come to bat. We'll uh, have uh, more as the last of the uh, stars uh, introduced here. So we'll be uh, right back with the starting pitch, and uh, stay tuned, everybody. All right, welcome back to uh, uh, Central Dwight High School and uh, high school softball regular season finale night on a beautiful July evening. Very nice, nice breeze here in DeWitt. Brand new athletic field for uh, the uh, Sabres as they host number one undefeated in class 4A, Bettendorf Bulldogs. Looks like Central DeWitt, uh, their starting lineup uh, defensively. Katie Irwin doing the pitching, Mackenzie Schultz doing the catching. Uh, 
first to third, it's Corey Perzer, Peter Zalek, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Megan Salyers at second base. Uh, at shortstop, Megan McClyman, and over at third base, Morgan Olson. In the outfield, left to right, Aaron Dorfinghouse, Nikki Green, and Caitlin Giese. Bettendorf, uh, their first three uh, starters in the lineup, Kelsey Rose, playing first base. Kayla Antle, she is uh, at third base, and Shelby Michaelis in center field. Behind her, batting fourth, Morgan Lentz. Kayla DeCook is doing the catching, number five in the lineup. Liz Penrose over in left field and playing the sixth position. Uh, batting seventh is Maggie Williams. She's the designated player. Caitlin Dvorak is playing shortstop in batting eighth. And Sarah Kennedy is in right field. Morgan Helgerson is playing at second base as the coaches take their coaching boxes. Mark Lewis, the head coach. Wayne Morse, the uh, assistant. Looks like Kelsey Rhodes coming to bat here. As once again, Katie Irwin doing the pitching and the catching, Mackenzie Schultz. First pitch is in there for a ball. We're underway. As Irwin comes with the delivery, down low, ball two. As I said, running the table. Rose takes the strike. Only one record, uh, two and one count, rather. Excuse me. There is a nice hit there to the outfield, and you knew that was coming. Rose rounding second. She could have a double, she does. Leads off with a double. So, let's see what Kellyanne can do as she comes to the plate. Bats second in the Bulldog lineup. That's going to be a bunt. Oop, can't pick it up there. And that's going to be a bunt single, and she's just going to go ahead and take second. Yep, could be a pickle play. You never know. And she's going to be chased back to, uh... well, yeah, here we go again. <laughs> this is this is the pickle play. Norscott has used this very successfully. Oh, nice job there by the... Uh... Good shortstop there, Megan Sires. And we'll try to uh, did make it to second, but at what uh, price? As she makes the perfect throw to the plate to. Uh, get uh, Mackenzie, Sh uh, Mackenzie Schultz to get uh, Kelsey Rose for the first out. One away. Again, that's why you play the game. Maybe uh, something to look like. And the pop up to uh, second base. Caught for out number two. Shelby McKellis out on the pop up. Now, for number six, Morgan Lentz. To uh, Megan Salyers. Morgan Lentz now to the plate. And it's down low for strike one. Irwin sets, delivers. Oh, in the dirt there. And Kayla Annell takes second rather easily. Two away, one-one count. Here we 
Went that door for waste no time getting on the board here, but scoreless through two outs and it's bunted back. Fouled back, rather. Lentz takes the box. The delivery. Oh, way outside. Ball two. See the train going in the distance there. The UP United Pacific uh, rail line. Train headed for Clinton as Irwin delivers. Ooh. Fouled back. That back continues here. Ready to deliver here. That's going to be in the outfield and coming home. Kayla Handel, that's an RBI. One nothing. Well, took two outs, but Central DeWitt on kind of a loop single to uh, left or to center rather, and got a. Courtesy runner, Tori Wood for the Bulldogs. And Kaylin DeCook. She's a power hitter. She said, uh, 11 home runs on the season. Irwin delivers as DeCook takes strike one. trouble but it goes foul into the gravel there. There's parts of this uh, facility still under construction. This is a nice field. There is uh, the cook. Watch one go by. One two count. back. The cook making Irwin work at the plate. Once again, the courtesy runner, Tori Wood, at first base. And that's outside, ball two. Even counted two and two. Irwin, the wind up, delivery. That's going to be popped up, should be caught. It is, nice job there by the shortstop, Megan McClyman. So, Bent North does get a couple hits and a run on the RBI by Morgan Lentz. After one half inning, it's Bettendorf one and Central DeWitt coming up. And ready to start the uh, second inning of play. As Bettendorf has a one nothing lead here. Waiting a little bit here as uh, adjustment made. And so we're not quite sure the reason why the delay here. As uh, Bettendorf really takes time to discuss a little bit of strategy here before things get started. A little bit blurry there, but that's all right. You know, just to maybe go over the starting lineup, the battery, or the starting lineup, uh, Mackenzie Schultz uh, doing the catching. She's batting first. Katie Irwin uh, doing the pitching and batting second. Here comes our late arrival there. Nice to see you. As Nikki Green, uh, is uh, playing center field and batting third. The late arrival is the uh, first baseman there, uh, Kelsey Rose. So she also does a nice job pitching. But tonight playing first base as Lentz delivers strike one. Uh, so Schultz, Irwin, and Green, the first three in the DeWitt uh, 
line up. So that's going to be popped up, but that's going to be caught. Yes, it is. Believe it or not, there was room in to cook. Caitlin to cook the <clears throat> Bulldog catcher makes the play. Out number one, Katie Irwin, Katie Irwin the pitcher. <clears throat> Again, batting third, Nikki Green behind her in the fourth spot, the cleanup spot, Megan Salyers over at second base, she plays. And then Corey Peterzalik in the fifth spot, doing first base honors. As Rose delivers the line drive, five to three for out number two. Nice throw there by Kayla Annell, the now third baseman for the Bulldogs. And Irwin retired as Nikki Green comes up the bat, swing and a miss, strike one. Morgan Lentz. Once again, your starting pitcher tonight. Down low, ball two, one. Even count. Hard to believe, but Morgan Lentz, you know, even though they both pitched about the uh, same number of innings as uh, Rhodes, it's not the staff ace. Swing and a best strike two on Green. One two count. You know, uh, Lentz pitched 107 in a third inning coming into tonight's game. ERA of uh, a little over 1.1 runs, uh, 122 strikeouts, 29 walks. Not bad, just 70 hits and 26 total runs. Oh, there's a nice hit. So, Nikki Green, a two out single. Nikki Green with the single for the Sabres. Now to bat number two, Megan Salyers. It's going to bring to uh, the plate Megan Salyers. Again, uh, you know, Central DeWitt, they have some good hitters. That uh, Green, uh, remember she, she has the uh, uh, hottest bat in the uh, Central lineup, 341 on the season. Actually, it's second best because Mackenzie Schultz, remember, is uh, tops with 364. But we'll see what happens here as it's a 1 1 count. Lintz set and delivers. Ooh, in there for ball two. Rather waits, delivers. Ball three. Don't want to lose her. Here we go. Strike two. So full count. Remember, Nikki Green's over it first. And the delivery. There's. Ooh. Nope. Runner interference. Bumped right into the second baseman, uh, Morgan Helgerson, and uh, Green is out. Unassisted. That ends the inning. So two out single by Green, but can't take advantage as she is out on the runner's interference after one complete. Bettendorf one, Central DeWitt nothing. We'll be right back. Hey. About ready to start inning number two. One nothing, Bettendorf in the lead. Didn't get a chance to uh, mention uh, some stats for Katie Irwin, the staff ace. 126 in two thirds innings uh, pitched on the season. Uh, 398 ERA, just under four runs earned a game. 67 strikeouts and 
69 walks. So we'll see what happens here. 5 and 15 record. Uh, you know, you never know. In this game, though, anything can happen. High school baseball, uh, softball, rather, as Liz Penrose, the uh, first batter up, has a 0 2 count on her. Make that a ball for. A 1-2 count, Penrose, number five batter in the, or six batter rather, in the Bulldog lineup. Behind her, Maggie Williams and Caitlin Dvorak. And zero one delivers. Oh, that's gonna be batted foul out of play. Over the shed. Again, fouled off. Nice patience here by Liz Penrose. His delivery up high for ball three, full count. We went from a 0 2 count to a 3 2 count, full. That's fouled off. Damn, Penrose going to make uh, Irwin work here tonight. That's a grounder to uh, first. Nicely put out there over at first by Corey peter Zollick. Out number one. Maggie Williams. Maggie Williams. This is an A player tonight. Gets the bunt down. See if she can beat out the bunt. No. Nice job there by the pitcher went over to I'm looking at my notes. Peter Zollick. Out number two. Nice idea. Remember seeing up at Iowa City uh, some uh, very successful bunt singles. And we have uh, Keatlin Dvorak. Fouls off the first pitch. We'll talk about the uh, postseason uh, for both of these teams here. That's up high for ball one. <laughs> Irwin delivers. That's going to be up the middle. Base hit. Two out base hit for Kate Lindevork. It's going to bring the pitcher or parent. The error to the Bulldog pitching mound. Sarah Kennedy. Right now she plays over in right field. Two very probable first team all state pitchers ahead of her in the bullpen. And she takes ball one. Don't get me wrong, Sarah Kennedy, she's had some time on the mound this uh, season as Irwin. Delivers down low. Ball two. Ooh, up high, ball three. So, looking at uh, Kennedy's stats. Remember, she's 506. And this is the number nine batter, so. Mark Lewis, uh, Maybe putting her down there for a reason. Because then, you're back to the top of the order and guess who's to, uh, at bat? Kelsey Rose. That's gonna be caught by the left fielder. So, nice catch there by Aaron Dorfingus, the Sabre catcher, or 
left fielder rather. Uh, after one and a half innings, uh, one nothing. Bettendorf will be right back. Second inning, number one, Cordy Peters Holland. Going to the bottom of the second inning. Uh, Bettendorf leads one nothing over Central DeWitt. Cordy Peters Holland will be starting off the inning with a uh, strike from Morgan Lentz. We'll give uh, Kelsey Rose's uh, stats here a little bit later on as a swing and a miss, strike two. Lentz waits. Here's the delivery. Foul back. Anyway, uh, we, we did mention Corey or Morgan Lentz's uh, stats a little bit earlier. Kelsey Rose, uh, she has a 19 and 7 record, uh, or 19 and 0 record, excuse me. It's impossible to have 19 and 7 when you're undefeated, as that's going to be popped out of play. Into the bleachers near the new uh, central uh, um, DeWitt uh, baseball field, which is to the uh, left of the softball field. From the perspective of the uh, press box, as Lintz delivers. Oh, up high. It's ball one. Oh, all these. Uh, so far, Central Duet having some good at bats. The Kelsey Rose we'll, we'll mention here here in a little bit is that's down low for ball two. Mention her between the uh, at bats here. Two two count. Once again, the train goes through Duet. South edge strike three called. First strikeout of the game for either side. Brings down the plate Morgan Olsen. DeWitt has uh, three uh, seniors, uh, Caitlin Giese, Nikki Green, and one we won't see is uh, the uh, five to three rounder to third base puts out Olsen. Nicely done by the Bulldogs. Now, 11, Brings up McClyman. Megan McClyman, the other one being uh, Lindsey Smith. We'll talk about here, here as the evening goes on as it's down low for ball one. But Central DeWitt, the three seniors, Caitlin Giese, Nikki Green, and uh, Lindsey Smith, strike one. Uh, in any event, uh, Kelsey Rose, uh, the other senior for Bettendorf, senior pitcher, 19-0 uh, record, 110, two-thirds innings. Swing and a miss. Uh, 133 strikeouts, 0 0.89 ERA. That's, that's correct there. Only giving up 65 hits, and oh, this is impressive, 12. Walks as Lentz strikes out. Megan McClyman for out number three. That's going to end the second inning. The score, one nothing Bettendorf. We'll be right back. Back to the top of the order here for Bettendorf as we begin third inning. one nothing your score. Bettendorf in front. Only run of the game back in the first inning. We'll start it off again with Kelsey Rose. Kelly Ann on Shelby Michaelis behind her as Irwin delivers ball one. Ball two. Now you have to. Or Benton, or Central DeWitt so far, they have held tough as, oh, that's going to be a base hit. That's a base hit right now in an error. 
And there she goes, taking off her second base, Kelsey Rose. Bunch single and an air over at first. And throw there. Corey Peters all I couldn't hold on to it over at first and Kelsey Rose did the right thing by advancing a second. Brings now to the plate Kayla Annell. Up high for ball one. And there's a hard hit, four to three. Salyers over to Peter Zalek. To retire, Anno. Does its job though. Gets Rose over to third base. Shelby Michaelis. Now let's see if she can get Rose home. Remember last time Rose tried to score on a pickle play that was nicely thwarted and we should uh, make a correction. It was actually by Nikki Green, the center fielder, who uh, made the heads up play there. Not the second baseman, Megan Sayers. I'm sorry, but that's, uh, you gotta get it right there. It's gonna be uh, Nikki Green as a 2-0 count on Michaelis. Make that a 3-0 count. Danger of losing her. Throw in. Upset and delivers. Strike one. Those, as we said, stationed over at third base. Anytime. Coach Lewis could give her a signal. Well, not now. It's going to be ball four. She takes a walk. Not going to try anything sneaky this time. Michael has reached his first base on a walk. Now for bat number six, Morgan Lentz. Morgan Lentz. He had the RBI single. Only one of the game. It's Lurie. Up high. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. Maybe trying to get another pickle play started. Uh, here, maybe figured one was coming. Try to draw Rhodes off. Swing and a miss. Strike one. So I guess for Rose, it's fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. I'm not fooled. One and one count. Irwin delivers up high. Make that a two uh, one count. The delivery, that's going to be a pie. Popped up, should be caught. It is. Nice catch there by Peter Zollick. Four out number two. And we're popping up some tonight here. All right, let's see what happens here. Kayla DeCook. Number five, she's second in the team with home runs. That one could be trouble. No! Wow, what a nice catch there. Nice job there by Aaron Dorfingus, the left fielder. And that ends the inning. Uh, again, Bettendorf getting a couple hits, but coming away empty handed. After two and a half, it's one nothing still. We'll be right back. We did want to mention uh, Lindsey Smith here, real quick, going to the University of Wisconsin to play basketball. The Quad City Times. Right, female Athlete of the Year. Uh, two All-State basketball players for 
central to it this past season. Probably by far the best girls basketball team uh, on the side of the state, uh, with the exception of uh, Assumption as run away. That's going to be caught. And that is out number one there. As Caitlin Giese, one of the seniors, uh, out on the fly to uh, left field. Shallow. Now to bat for the Sabres, number 22, Ellen Reynolds. Left as it were, Ellen Reynolds, number nine batter, will be back to the top of the order with Mackenzie Schultz after this at bat. Reynolds, doesn't need a hitter. Anyway, Lindsey Smith, uh, just kind of a team mascot, I guess, uh, for lack of a better way to put it. Uh, this uh, summer she is on the uh, central uh, uh, DeWitt roster, but not an active player as uh, training, uh, off season training for basketball and uh, her ACL injury suffered during the state tournament. 1 2 count on uh, Reynolds as Lentz delivers. Nice hit, but a nice catch there. by Kayla Annell, the third baseman. The liner to third. Out number two, Mackenzie Schultz, back to the top of the order, and best hitter in the DeWitt lineup. And that's a foul ball, almost got past Annell. Actually, it was a little bit to her <laughs> left. She was... Looked like she might have had a second one there. Yeah, it was quick, but nice hit there by Schultz. Just going to straighten it up here. As Lentz delivers. Ooh. All one. There we go. No, in the dirt. Hopper in the goes foul behind the uh, plate. Might have mentioned that Central Dwight is one of, or Bentdorf rather, one of two undefeated teams in the state right now in softball. Is that goes foul? Schultz having a good at bat. Two, two count, two out. Looking to get on, team's second hit if she does. By way of the hit. <laughs> anyway, uh, Martin Sales, St. Mary's, the other undefeated team. 34 and 0 as Mackenzie Schultz strikes out swinging. Third strikeout of the game for Morgan Lentz. It's three up, three down. Bettendorf leading. One nothing after three complete. We'll be right back. Just telling somebody, you know, uh, you come into a underdog like uh, Central DeWitt, uh, you're undefeated. The underdog's going to give them your best. And so far, Central DeWitt through three innings, done just that. It's Nikki Green gets the first out of the put out of the inning. Liz Penrose fly out to center. Now to bat number seven, Maggie Williams. Maggie Williams now to bat. One away. Bettendorf ahead, one nothing. Down low. Only RBI of the game. Morgan Lentz. As, uh, we do want to thank uh, uh, George Pickup 
of Central DeWitt High School as, oh, they're there at first. Peter Zollick couldn't hold on to it, and that's an error, one out. Maggie Williams reaching. Anyway, George picked up a Central DeWitt High School and want to thank him for having us out here. Family Times Production bringing you this, uh, the uh, final game of the regular season 2011. For both these teams, uh, both these teams will be in postseason action. Uh, DeWitt starting Saturday night in Bettendorf, getting a first round bye, and uh, we'll play Monday night, 1-1 one, one count. Irwin. On delivery to Williams. Williams, there's a hit up the mill. And Williams gonna get the go-ahead to go to third. And a nice hit there by Dvorak up the middle. Well, we'll see if this uh, is our... To second base, Williams advances to third. That North makes it smooth, the second hit of the game for... Caitlin Dvorak is uh, already the uh, Central DeWitt coach. Uh, Kevin Rowling uh, a little concerned. Trying to rally the troops, not to panic. You have the assistant coaches uh, go out and talk to the outfield. And of course, uh, Mark Brooks, or Mark Lewis, the uh, Bettendorf coach. He's been by far the most successful coach I can think of over at Bet North. See him hidden there by the uh, uh, one of the uh, supports there, but right there, probably be the uh, Mac Coach of the Year and Mac Coach of uh, Southeast District in 4A. Bring Sarah Kennedy. This is trouble for Bet uh, Central Dewitt. If uh, Kennedy can get a hold of good one here. Takes ball one from Irwin. Down low ball two. I don't know if we're going for an intentional walk here or kind of pick your poison time here if that's the case. He's got Kelsey Rose coming up the bat. Well, that's strike one. I believe that is, yeah. 2 1 count. Down low, that's ball three. That's a wild pitch. But it could get at the plate, yes! Oh my! How many times has uh, Van Dorp, that's the second time they've been out at the plate. Two to one, I believe. After the wild pitch. Well, that's out number two. Boy, Van Dorp could go ahead. Looks like they were gonna go a load the bases there at the very least and Williams tried to take advantage but bet uh, they uh, Central DeWitt's done a great job of guarding the plate so far tonight here give them credit as that's up high for ball one well we'll see what happens here ball two now might be the good time to go for an intentional walk, maybe. Like I said, we'll just have to take a look at the stats here. Ball side, ball three. Rose, remember, she bats the best. 566 average. But Anno, 516. So again, pick your poison time. Well, that's. Gonna load 
the bases there. One, two, three. Dvorak at third, Kennedy at second, Rose at first, Anil to the plate. Ball one, five balls in a row there. She's going to have to hope that uh, Katie Irwin throws a strike here. She needs to right now, ball two. That's going to be a big hit there. That's going to bring a couple home. Well, no, there's a pickle play. A couple of... That was almost a base running mistake there. So, Anil does come through finally for Bettendorf with a two RBI. Single. 3-0 Bettendorf. Runners at the corners. Oh, off the glove. That was so close there. And she's safe at third. So let's explain what happened. As Rose Scores, you're going to have to call that a base hit. McCann, uh, Going. On the single with extra base and the RBI. 4 nothing. Bettendorf. But uh, to explain, it was off the glove of Megan McClyman. Uh, you're still going to call that a hit. That still would have, that was a great attempt to get it, but Still would have taken it even, just a great catch there, and uh, McClyman just not there in time. Two zero count on Morgan Lentz. Benton North finally with a breakout inning. Down low, ball three. Annel at third and Michaelis at second. Down low, and that's a four pitch walk. Well, loaded once again. Going to bring out Tori Wood once again. Lynch reaching for the second time tonight. It's her courtesy runner. Comes in, Tori Wood. And Kayla DeCook. Well, let's see what she can do here. That's popped up. McClyman should have it in short. She does. And Bettendorf leaves them loaded as Central DeWitt. A couple of uh, plays go Bettendorf's way. And uh, the two RBI single by... Kayla Anno, Bettendorf 4, Central DeWood 0, right back. And once again, what's at stake here in uh, uh, DeWitt? The 40 and 0 season for the Bettendorf Bulldogs. Central DeWitt, the only team standing in their way as their uh, Bulldogs go up 4 0. In the uh, top half of the third inning, three runs posted off, uh, partly off the uh, two RBI single by Kayla Annell is a uh, lead off, fly out to uh, right there. Katie Irwin, nicely caught. Hi, Sarah Kennedy over in right field. As we said, Sarah Kennedy, the sophomore, and uh, you're a parent of the Bulldog pitching mound as strike one delivered. Nikki Green 
Foul back. Pitch, new, and low ball one. Down low. Ooh, boy. Ball two. Two, two count. Tying away, it's ball three. Low to count, don't want to lose her. Nicky Green. One of the five year letter winners for Benton. Or, nope, she swung, I, I, that should be strike three, but it's not, she must have held it off there. Do it again. No, that's a walk. First walk of the game. Given up by Morgan Lutz. Like I said, she, uh, Morgan Lutz doesn't give up many walks. She's only given up 12 or 29 coming into tonight, so that's 30 on the season. Not quite a walk a game, so she's right on average as Megan Sawyer's. Take strike one. See if she can bat uh, Nikki Green around. Green also a member of the uh, state semifinalist uh, Central uh, DeWitt Sabre basketball team, girls basketball this past winter. As the bun is down. And the perfect five to three handle. Over to Kelsey Rose. Going to bring Corey Peters Zalek. <clears throat> Two out. That's a hard hit, but that's going to go way foul in the dirt. And we're not going to get the kids. Oh, that would have been so fun to get them. And you hey, play one of those old classic rock tunes like uh, the Welcome or What's Happening Now theme. I don't know if anybody remembers that old sitcom as Lentz delivers Swing and a Miss. Strike two. On the delivery, oh, outside, ball three, or ball one, rather, take that back. Got a little ahead of myself. I do that from time to time. <laughs> Actually, too often is Lentz delivers. Peter Zalek, strike three, swinging. Ends the inning. So, one out walk, uh, but Central DeWitt cannot deliver. It's still 4 nothing. Bettendorf after four innings. We'll be right back. Again, we do want to thank uh, George Pickup of Central DeWitt High School for having Family Ties Production out here tonight. Beautiful evening uh, here in DeWitt, Iowa. As uh, we have mentioned a couple times uh, already, uh, yeah. Regular season finale for both of these teams. Uh, playoffs uh, come right after this. The Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union sponsoring that with all roads leading to uh, Harlan Rogers Complex in Fort Dodge. 
Bettendorf getting the first round by in Class 4A. And they will play either Western Dubuque or Dubuque Senior Monday night at Glendale Hill Sports Complex in Bettendorf. Katie Irwin delivering ball one. And it's Liz Penrose will start off for the uh, Bulldogs, top of the fifth inning. Two old count. And the other half of that bracket, Norris Scott getting the other by. They'll play either Clinton or Dubuque Hempstead Monday night. Our Lancer Field is four pitch walk. Penrose reaching. That Norris had base runners on every inning. Maggie Williams. Tried to score last time a pass ball, I believe, there, and uh, didn't quite see what happened there, but we'll call it a pass ball as Penrose taking advantage, moves up to second base. Any softball team to do that. Bunt single. Nice speed here. She's going to beat it out. She did. Well, no, no pickle play this time. Maggie Williams gets the bunt single. Maggie Williams gets the bunt single. And the to third base. Now to bat number 11, Taylor Zamora. 8-10 in the game for Bettendorf. Central White has but one. Another bunt. Oh, oh, that time the uh, throw to the plate didn't work. And the bunt single turns into a score. As the board advances to second and Williams to third. Now batting number 13, Sarah Kennedy. Sarah Kennedy up to the plate. So the Vorak reaching on the reality of fielder's choice as a bad throw to the plate. Liz Penrose, a uh, good throw puts her out. Looks like somebody told me, uh, you know, Central DeWitt, they play hard and uh, the whole game, uh, just they have, you know, the old cliche of one bad inning. That ruins the whole show. <laughs> One one count on Sarah Kennedy. Anyway, Central DeWitt, they play Mount Vernon. Saturday night in Mount Vernon. In class 3A, so these two teams in different classes, Bentendorf 4A. 3A for the Sabres of DeWitt as the bunt goes foul. Sarah Kennedy called back. Full count. Get some instruction there from Coach Lewis. And the netting causing the appearance it's a little pixelated. Once again, Williams at third, Dvorak at second. Kennedy looking to get one or both of them home. That's going to be up the middle, and that is going to send two home. Two RBI singles, both Williams and Dvorak score. Starting to 
pull away here a little bit. And uh, I'm going to have uh, talk about it here a little bit here as uh, Coach uh, Kevin Rowling's going to talk to his team, try to rally the troops. Not sure what. He's got in mind here. It looks like we might have a pitching change. We will. We'll be right back with uh, what exactly is going on here in a little bit. Okay, we do have a pitching change. Megan Salyers. Now playing at second base for the Sabres, number 11, David Clemens. Playing at shortstop, number 33, Katie Irwin, and pitching, number 2, Megan Salyers. Up to bat for the Bulldogs, number 8, Kelsey Rose. Salyers, Megan Salyers, is doing the uh, pitching now. She had been playing second base. Megan McClyman moves over to uh, second from shortstop. And Katie Irwin moves to shortstop. As Kelsey Rose... Up to bat now, one and one count. That's going to be trouble up the middle. Going to move. Rose to. Uh, Second, he gets the uh, single to left, and an extra base. Kayla Annell now up to bat. As we're going to say, uh, Irwin will still be responsible for the runner at third, that being Sarah Kennedy, who Singled in the final at bat that Irwin pitched. Salyers to Antle. No. Ball two. One swing of the bat, it'll be 10 nothing. It'll be a bunt single this time. Nicely fielded and didn't quite know what to do there with it. Morgan Olson looking around for a play, couldn't, didn't want to give up the run, but couldn't get it off fast enough, and probably took the sure thing, uh, infield single. We'll call it. It's Kelly Andel's third hit of the game. Shelby Michaelis. Mentioning teams in uh, Central DeWitt's uh, substate. Uh, I believe Davenport Assumption is in there, and uh, team to beat is Solon. They're in the top five as the throw to the plate off the mark. Again, they are guarding that plate fiercely tonight, Central DeWitt, but the air. It probably wouldn't have been in time anyway, but this is still full of Bulldogs as uh, Michaela's reaching on the fielder's choice in RBI. Well, oh, that's bad at foul. Remember, if uh, Bettendorf reaches the 10 run threshold, the game does not end because uh, uh, Bendorf is the uh, visiting team. They can score as much as they want to, much as they're able, probably, be the better way to put it. 
Although, yes, you do have some teams that do tend to take advantage of being the visiting team by scoring a few too many runs. That's trouble in the outfield. That's going to go all the way back. That's going to score three. And a nice hit there by Morgan Lentz. Three RBIs double. Rose Anil and Michaelis come across the score for the Bulldogs. Rose Anil and Michaelis make that score 11 to nothing. Corey Wood comes in, courtesy run. So, when you're thinking about uh, player of the game honors, starting to think about them right now here. As Hanley to Cook, still nobody out. Oh, caught by the coach there. Foul ball. Believe it or not, this, this inning could go a while. <sighs> yeah, Salyers delivers. Michaela's strike two. Central DeWitt needs a strikeout right now. The delivery, swing and a miss, strength three. And we're gonna have time call, let's see. We're probably gonna bring somebody new in the ball game. No, well, hold on, yes. Pinch hitter for Liz uh, Penrose. Uh, let's see who that is here. Dominic for Bulldogs, number 15, Shayla Cudd. Shayla Cudd. Shayla Cudd. So Kayla DeCook, who is one of the top hitters of the game, gets the first, it's the first Bulldog to strike out. <laughs> no kidding, it's 11 to nothing. As Cud takes ball one, probably going to see a plenty of pinch hit duties here from here on out. So we've already been once through the order. That's going to be up high, but it should be no. That's going to be an RBI double. Hey, welcome to the lineup there, Shayla Cud. And that is a 12 nothing Tory Wood on the RBI by Cud. Another pinch hitter, maybe? We shall see. Morgan Helgerson, batting for herself, actually. She had been playing the uh, second base position. We'll see what Helgerson uh, can do. And your seniors for Bettendorf, that's been a huge uh, part of the success of this uh, Bulldog team as Sawyers delivers ball one. Uh, Kelsey Rose, Morgan Lentz, Kayla Anno, Morgan Helgerson, who's now at bat, Shelby Michaelis, Shayla Cudd, who's over at second, Ashley Perkins, who is, hasn't played yet, but one of those uh, valuable contributors, I'm sure as it's fell back. Oh, 
the grounder. Oh, it was just a liner and it was caught. Out number two, the uh, liner to third baseman, nicely caught by Morgan Olson. Caitlin Dvorak. Now to the plate. Two out. Twelfth batter in the inning. Twelve nothing your score. That's going to be caught by the left fielder. Aaron Dorfinghaus. Finally ends the inning for Bettendorf. Eight runs. Nice profitable inning for the Bulldogs there. And we'll see if they can Hold on to shut out the Benton uh, Central Sabres right after this. And once again, I want to thank uh, George Pickup, the uh, Central DeWitt coach, for having us out here. We got the uh, Kayla Andel, the pitcher. I believe this might be her first varsity action, at least for uh, Iowa Quick Sats. 12 nothing lead. You got some room to play with here. There's uh, a lot of uh, new faces here. We'll try to catch you up there as the slow grounder to second, retiring Morgan Olson. For out number one. Well, like I said, Central DeWitt. They came in this game eight and twenty-four. Yes, you knew what they were getting into, but you know, admire the fight. The, the fight is impressive for Central DeWitt, and you know they're 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 playing. They played for most of this game better than an eight and twenty-four team, but Bettendorf. You know, we're going to assume they're going to hold on to win in this inning here. 40 and 0. Sets outside. You know, that's going to speak volumes of the players that have uh, the Kelsey Roses and the Morgan Linces. They put in just an incredible amount of time. as Annel delivers strike two. And that's a walk. So a one out walk. But Morgan Lentz. Now to back to the Sabres, number 15, Auburn Templeton. You know, just four strikeouts, but one hit given up and just one walk. Another great night for the Bulldogs senior. One of our player of the game at, uh, honorees, uh, I'm sure will be. You see uh, Mark Brooks, the athletic director, has showed up. And that's going to be tapped over to the tag. And safe. Fielder's choice. The lead runner caught, though. As the uh, second baseman tries and to get Keatlin Geese. We didn't have time to introduce her. Lindsay Smith. Here we go. State basketball player. This is, uh, you know, she had that ACL. The brace still on her leg, but doing a lot of tracing. It's a couple of trains go through DeWitt outside. Leading 
the Sabres to uh, the uh, state tournament. Injured in the first game. Her partner in crime, of course, Jen Keidel. As I think uh, Annel just wants to walk uh, Smith. 3 0, but. Yep, she's going to walk her. So two walks. That's as many as. Bulldogs have had. And this is class right here. Let's see, this, this is great. Given one of the best players. Of uh, the side of the state, the ba basketball. That is quite a memory there, and that is a nice show of class there by uh, the Bettendorf Bulldog softball team. The uh, pinch runner in, uh, Ellen Reynolds doing the pinch running this time. She's usually a courtesy runner. So, Smith. Drawing the walk in the fifth inning. She's going off to Wisconsin uh, this fall, University of Wisconsin, doing a lot of training. And uh, of course, everybody wishes her well. That's going to be caught oh, off the club. Oh, my. There goes the shutout. Nope, you're not going to get in. It was right off the glove. You got to... Templeton and Reynolds come across the score for the Sabres. You got to give that a... Yeah, I'm going to give that uh, an error, actually. E8 to center. Still two RBI for... Kenzie Schultz, it's Katie Irwin. Strike two. Now we can settle down. One one count. Well, let's see. Well, uh, do it. Nope, fouled off. Ball two. All right. Let's see if Kayla Anno can get the strikeout. That's going to be popped up. Caught. Game over. That North comes away. 40 0. Oh, what a night here to come to DeWitt. I'm glad we came. As the teams go through their postseason uh, handshakes, uh, we're going to give uh, Morgan Lentz and uh, she, she's going to get the player of the game. Four RBIs, four strikeouts on the mound. Pitching a shout out through four innings. Great job. And, you know, give uh, honorable mention, and she deserves it. Right there, in number 19. Let's see if we can pick her up once again. Lindsay Smith, you know, even though she hasn't played a whole lot this year. There's the umpires giving the handshakes. Um, just a great memory for these, uh, everybody involved. And uh, 40 and 0. You know, not every day do you get that. You know, um, this Bentendorf's worked a lot of hard innings during the past couple of years. We'll see if uh, that uh, comes through with a uh, um, birth at the state tournament, and uh, we'll see if uh, um, Family Ties production can be there for the uh, postseason uh, uh, as uh, 
as uh, one of these uh, teams from the back, three of them probably are going to go. I'm sure that it'll be either Bentendorf or North Scott battling fiercely in uh, the regional. Uh, and Central DeWitt, you never know. You know, 8-25. Uh, they put up a great fight here tonight. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what uh, uh, comes of them as they play Mount Vernon Saturday night. Well, that's going to do it here from uh, uh, Central DeWitt. Uh, once again, thanking George Pickup, the uh, athletic uh, uh, administrator here at uh, DeWitt, and uh, Brian Ratch from Family Ties Production saying good night, everybody. Well, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning for baseball here at North Scott High School and Family Ties Production bringing you Senior Day here at North Scott. The Lancers hosting Linmar annual contest here at Eldridge, what would have been the Lancer Invitational, only Linmar showed up so it was converted into a double header, no Invitational as it requires three teams, but still be a pretty good game here. Linmar coming into the game with a record of 21 and 11. The Lancers on Senior Day 23 and 11. And so we're gonna see how the Lancers and Linmar match up here this morning and this afternoon. Honor the seniors here real quickly. Uh, there are seven, eight of them, uh, four of them starting today. This contest, Brandon Voss, B. Voss, the catcher. Brand, uh, ben Engler, who will be playing center field in this uh, opening contest. Aaron Huber at shortstop. And Matt McKinney over in right field. McKinney and is a uh, two-year letter winner, uh, three years for uh, Ben Engler and Aaron uh, Brandon Boss and Aaron Huber also going for their third uh, letters here today. The other seniors, Cam Kristoff, Corey Greenleaf, Dylan Gorsh, and Robert Copley. Gorsh usually sees action as a uh, designated hitter as the Lancers get their uh, uh, field in shape here. We'll have the uh, starting lineups here momentarily. Uh, uh, Greenleaf is a reserve, one of those uh, along with Kristoff. Uh, they don't normally see the field but they've been working really hard over the uh, years and uh, we uh, want to uh, give them their just due. And then, of course, Robert Copley, or Cookie, if you believe the Fun City Times uh, article from the other day. Uh, they, uh, uh, the uh, reporter there, uh, uh, a little off on uh, Copley's uh, spelling. So I guess uh, Robert, you've gained a new, new name, Cookie. Cookie Monster! Nom, 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 nom. Copley, he was a monster uh, over at Pleasant Valley, uh, pitching the, uh, giving up just the one run in the upset win over the Spartans. Lancers sweeping the Spartans. I want to congratulate them as uh, we will be uh, back here uh, momentarily with our starting lineups uh, for uh, the first game of this uh, doubleheader between North Scott High School and the Linmar Lions. Stay tuned, everybody. It should be a good one. Home of the North Scott Lancers. Okay, we're Today's games features the back Lancers of North Scott at uh, North Scott Lions High School. High School. North Scott High School. And Just take the back. We'll have our, our starting lineups here wins momentarily. As you look at the uh, numbers there, the numbers that have spelled success for the Lancers this season field, in the past two, Aaron Hunter. several. Second, Fans continue to 16, file in Larry as Limar 
Introducing their starting lineups here. Third, the Lions six, from the Mississippi Michael Valley Lampin. Conference, 21 and 12. We did want to make sure we had the record Fielder, right. Number 15. Starting Jordan off with Stroshine. Aaron Hunter over in left field. Fifth, He'll be batting first. 14. Ben Larison is the shortstop batting second. Batting Michael six, Redmond, the center fielder. Three, Jordan Stroshine is the nine, right Blackford. fielder. And batting fourth, Mitch batting Stickney eight, is the designated baseman. hitter in batting eight. fifth. Batting Jamie sixth Collins. is Corey Prokop, the second baseman. Batting ninth, the third baseman. The pitcher is Keaton Austin Blackford Prokop. and batting seventh. And catching number Jake seven, Stolle Jake is at first Stolle. base, batting eighth. And Austin Schrosine is, is at Lester. third base, batting ninth. The catcher, and Nick Silman. And uh, Stickney is designated hitting for him. And now the Lancers. Lancers with an overall record of 23 and 11, and 11 today. Fresh off the doubleheader sweep of Pleasant base. Valley. Number Brock Brady starting Brock off Brady. at second base. Catcher is Brandon second, Voss. He'll be batting five, second. Ben Engler in center field. Third, the center number Aaron ten. Huber, ben the Engler. shortstop, batting fourth. Brandon Engler, the sophomore, brought up big role in that win over Pleasant Valley. He's batting fifth, playing third base. John Kinney is the first baseman, batting sixth. J.D. Pumphrey is the designated hitter. Devin Guerrero is the left fielder, batting eighth. And Matt McKinney is playing right field. The pitcher today. Batting Colby right fielder, Sorensen. Sorensen, the, the first game today, number 23, being Colby designated hitter Sorenson. four by J.D. Pumphrey. That's your starting lineups. Fourth season is and uh, we by Brad will Ford, look forward to a Travis great game Rawls. here at Lancer Park in Eldridge. So we'll be right back. Again, a beautiful day for the baseball Ferris here. Paul Keitel. We have a beautiful day for a baseball Ken game Ferris, today. Paul Keitel, your officials. Let's play ball. As the Lancers reserves take to the dugout, the starting defense on the field. Once again, a pitcher. Colby Sorensen, do the pitching, Voss. the catcher, Brandon Voss. Left to right Colby in the uh, outfield are Devin Guerrero, Ben Engler, and Matt McKinney. And the infield, first base to third, John Kinney, Brock Brady, Aaron Huber at shortstop, and third baseman, Brandon Engler. Your first three batters for the Lindmar Lions. Aaron Hunter, Ben Larison, and Michael Redman. And still following in here, Lancer Park. Lancers uh, continue to take the infield. 